What's up, everybody? I'm professional basketball player Justin Dimon. I'm here to show you the correct way how to do the JD one leg shot. <laughs> came about when I was in Puerto Rico. I was coming off a screen and I was fading away and I ended up shooting off my right leg. And uh, it just felt weird, but good. And then I just started doing it in practice in Puerto Rico. It's just, it just felt good from there. Затягивают атаку. Посмотрите, все в периметре, все ждут передачи на периметр. Здесь нужно только забивать, что и получается. А вот такая тактика оправдывает, безусловно, растягивает защиту, игра один в один, но посмотрите. This move benefits a lot of small guys more than it benefits bigger guys, because bigger guys have a longer wingspan than smaller guys, and smaller guys are quicker, so it's quicker to get off with the small guys. All the small guy got to do is make sure when he makes his move, the big guy drops his back foot. Once he drops his back foot and you go into your move, it's slower for him to come back and try to block the shot. So I say this is very effective. Or like I said, going right towards the basket, you can go do it. I mainly do it on, on three corners and at buzzer beaters, but you can do it at any time, as long as it's effective and you make it uh, consistent shots. Long rebound out to Yankuna. And then Dittman from the right, this time makes it. First you gotta set your man up. Set your man up here, come off the screen, and it's coming to you. All you're doing is catching, all your momentum is taking you this way, and then you shoot. The second way you do this move is off a triple threat. I prefer to do it on the right side. The momentum takes you to the right. If you do it on the left side, you can do it too, but I feel comfortable on the right side. So what you do is, your man, you, you, you jab it. Putting them to sleep. This move is all based on putting somebody to sleep. You jab it, and you just, you're coming off two, so it ain't a travel, and you shoot it off the one. That's okay, so it's gonna look a little like this. Jab, jab, suck. Third and last way to do this move is off the dribble. I specialize in this off on the right side. Some guys like to do it in the middle, but I'll do it off the right side. Mainly this shot is better at buzzers. You do it on your team uh, before the buzzer, if you, if your coach will get mad. So what we do is we go into the move with a, a dribble move. We put them to sleep. It's like a sleep dribble. So you go through your legs, sleep dribble. You can go between, in front of you, sleep dribble. Everything is putting your man to sleep. When your man right foot edges forward, it's a perfect time to do this move. Even when he like this, it's perfect because most guys are right-handed, they can test with their right. So when they can test with their right, I'm shifting this way and their right hand is moving this way. That's why I like this move better because you can go into, you can go into a crossover and go. You can go set them up and go. There's a lot of ways you can do this move, but you just got to set your man up and make sure his right foot is forward. So, in closing, if you got what it takes to do the JD one leg, show me. I would love to give you tips and help you correct the right way to do it. Because I know a lot, of way, a lot of guys do it just straight up and down, which they need to know that it's a side step fadeaway. You get away from your man so the, uh, the hand is out of your face.
JD. If you want to learn more videos, ask any questions, go to my Instagram at Justin Demon or go to my Twitter at Justin Demon.